Java work on the basis of the stream. And there are two types of the stream. Input stream, sorry, byte stream. And characteristic. Okay. And Java is the object oriented programming language. So here we will work only on work, class, object, and uh, interfaces. Okay. So for this purpose, for uh, streams like the byte stream and character stream, Java provides us two abstract class like input stream. Output stream. Same as in character stream. Reader and writer. Input stream. File. Input stream. File. Output stream. For reader. I, these are the subclasses of the abstract class because we cannot work on abstract class and file writer. So if you want to read a data from file from the input device, so we use input stream. If you want to write the data on console or a file, we use output stream. Same as if you want to read a file, we use file reader. If you are a reader, reader abstract class. And if you want to create a file, if you want to write a content in the file or the console, so we use writer. Okay, so these are the abstract class input stream, output stream, reader, and writer. These are abstract class. And the file input stream, file output stream, file reader, file writer, these are the subclasses of these abstract class. Okay. Java providers another uh, multiple uh, subclasses of input stream, output stream, reader, and writer, like buffered. Uh, Sequence input stream, vibrant stream, byte input stream, byte output stream, data input stream, data output stream. Object input stream, object output stream. Okay, so these are the some implemented class 
और सब क्लासेस आप जी एब्सट्रेक्ट क्लास है इनपुट स्ट्रीम आउटपुट स्ट्रीम डेटा एंड राइट फाइल इनपुट स्ट्रीम इफ यू वांट टू रीड ए फाइल अ फाइल कंटेंट सो वी यूज फाइल इनपुट स्ट्रीम इफ यू वांट टू राइट अ कंटेंट इन द फाइल सो वी यूज फाइल आउटपुट स्ट्रीम सेम एज इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट इफ यू वांट टू रीड अ डेटा फ्रॉम द फाइल्स वी यूज फाइल रीडर इफ यू वांट टू राइट अ डेटा इन फाइल्स वी यूज फाइल राइटर बफर इनपुट स्ट्रीम बफर आउटपुट स्ट्रीम बफर रीडर एंड बफर राइटर दिस क्लासेस इज यूज्ड टू ओनली द एक्सटेंड द स्पीड ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग लाइक बफर इनपुट स्ट्रीम बफर आउटपुट स्ट्रीम बफर रीडर बफर राइटर ओके बाइट अरे इनपुट स्ट्रीम इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट अ कॉपी मल्टीपल कॉपीज ऑफ अ फाइल ऑफ अ डेटा कंटेंट सो वी यूज बाइट अरे इनपुट स्ट्रीम एंड बाइट अरे आउटपुट स्ट्रीम If you want to read the data from the keyboard, like the scanner, so we use input stream, input stream data. Sequence input stream. If you want to combine more than file, more than one file into a single file, we use sequence input stream. If you want to print the data on the screen console, so we use print stream. Pipe input stream and pipe output stream. If you want to uh, use thread. For so, suppose uh, uh, we want to read a thread, we want to read a data from a file through thread, and if we want to write a data through the thread, so we use pipe pipe input stream and pipe output stream, and data input stream and data output stream. If we want to read uh, any type of data like uh, integer, float, character, double, any type of data, any printed values, if we want to read, uh, save in the file, so we use uh, data input stream. And data output stream. If you want to save the object in a file, or uh, read a file, or write a file of an object, suppose we want to save up object of any class, so we use object output stream and object input stream. So these are the multiple uh, sub classes of abstract classes. So one by one we will learn it. Okay. First of all, we will use. We are going to create the program of. If you want to create, can say we are going to create uh, a program of new new file. Okay. For this purpose, new Java. file first of all i'm going to create a program of new file create a class this is by the name of class Like new file, public is where main, and click on finish. The all classes are belong to file dot java dot io. package okay so i'm going to create a program for new file so for this purpose if you want to write a data in the file file so in this purpose we use file output Stream FOS is equal to new file output stream dot yes. Okay. Now you can see it's so it's so exception. Okay, file output stream. This is a class. FOS. This is a reference 
variable of file output itself, and here it will create the object of new file, new file output history when we specify the file name. Okay, here surrounded with try and catch, you are you can use throws or try catch. Click on try catch. Here you can see this file output history. My first is called new file output history. So, if you want to create a new file, so file not found exception can be arised because this is a new file name. If this exception can be arised, so this is a compile time exception. So must be used try catch. Okay. After that, suppose we have a data a string str is equal to, and we want to store this value in the file. So Actually, here you can see this file output is stream in byte stream. Okay, so first of all, we have need to convert this data in the byte form. So for this purpose, str dot get bytes. We have a method get bytes, which will convert our data in bytes, and we can save these values. In the array of byte. Okay, after that we can save this value in the file. So file object is fos dot write. We have a method write object. Write method. We can pass the array of bytes. And here add try catch to sound on. Uh, we can add another trick edge because it's showing exception. I exception can be arise at the right time. Okay. So uh, in file input output, two exception can be arise. File in out uh, file not found exception and I exception. Okay. After that, we can close. File set. Okay. File set. Okay. If you want to check it here, you can refresh your project. Refresh. And you can see this abc.txt. Open this file, you can see this. So you get, if you want to create a file, if you want to save any data in a file, you can use this. First of all, create the object of file output history by just specifying a file name. Okay. After that, you can specify a data, convert this data in the bytes. After that, you can save this bytes. In the area of byte, and you can write this byte the file. Okay, same as suppose you want to read the data. So for this one, I'm going to create another class. And here, open file. So we are going to create the program of open file. Click on finish. Here, so for this purpose, we use file input state. And type here FIS is equal to no file input history. <coughs> okay, and all classes are belong to Add try catch. Okay. So suppose we, uh, here uh, this is a file. Yeah. This file must be exist because we are going to read a file. Contain a file. So file uh, must be exist. 
Okay, second thing, uh, it contains the bytes. So for this purpose, we are going to display the content of file. So here, I'm declare a variable. Actually, uh, byte is also integer values contain only an integer value. So here I have declared it. After that, byte r is equal to fis dot read not equal to minus one. Minus one means end of file. If I am not read, not equal to this one. Okay. It's throwing exception. You can see this here. It's showing the exception. We can add another catch. Okay. But this is a character. Sorry. This is a string. Sorry. This is the integer and have need to character. So here declare the char and specify the R. Okay. And uh, now we can close this to so FIS dot close. Save this file. And now I'm going to execute it. It's showing one word in in one line. So here we have need to remove this, and again we can check it. Run as okay. So through this program, this program or open file means if a file is exist, so we can read the content of that file. Okay, so for this purpose, it's simple. Only we use file input string and specify the name of the file. We can uh, fetch the record, fetch the display the content of that file. We can specify the file name. After that, here declare a teacher variable and read that file and save in the R and check not equal to minus one. Minus one means end of file. So if uh, and if it will terminate. Okay, after that, we can print the, the uh, that uh, that byte in the character form and then close it. Okay, that is fine. Now, I'm going to create a, another file. It's okay, I think. Any doubt, any queries? No, sir. Here, I'm going to create a another file. Suppose, here we want to, suppose here I'm going to execute it. In a second, we are going to add some additional function in this file program. So here file says, okay. And this file have content on it. Suppose we want to add here some content, another content. So here you can declare here like uh, yes save this file and execute it I'll see okay you can see the open this file and you can see this that is it the previous content what I said okay and you have New content. So suppose we want to uh, add new file without uh, uh, overwriting the previous method, the previous values. So for this purpose, you can open this file in append mode. Okay. So now suppose you are going to add it. Okay. Now I'm going to set this. 
So if you add the two, means this file will open in append mode and you can see this the content of file you have better than the rest and all is well. Both uh, content is exist. Okay. But suppose you are to add this line in next line. For this purpose, here we can use dot selection plus str. Okay, this one new line. Okay, so this file, and suppose you want to add anything. File save and we want to open this. Here you can see this better than the best, always well, and bond with the best. Okay. So we can add if you want to add any line in the next line. So for this purpose, we can use. Add backslash n. Okay, so we should add new line in the next way, next line. Okay. Suppose we want to uh, add the data from the user it. So for this purpose, we can use a scanner. A scanner SC is equal to new scanner. And suppose we want to get the content from the user end. Enter file content. Here we can remove this and at the place of this we can use sc dot next line. Okay, and convert it and use it. Okay. I'll content. Would you want to add anything? Like, uh, put the file thing. And you want to open it here you can this file. But uh, it added only one line. So if you want to add multiple lines, so for this purpose, we can use loop. So for this purpose, I'm going to here declare a loop so for this purpose. We have not need of this. We can use loop. str is equal to sc dot next line and you can specify any character the word equals Stop and here you can use not okay, not equal to a stop. Actually, str is equal to sc dot next line equal to stop. Here I added not not equal to step. It will it will type not a uh, uh, stop, it will stop the writing. Okay. So here now I'm going to 
execute it. So for this purpose, here we can type here analog computer. I'm sorry for this analog computer. It's not working. That is here and scale is equal to sc dot next line dot b equal to stop str dot get by its color. I think it's correct. Now again I'm going to execute it. So real contact is it not equal to stop? Get by its Okay, I'm going to check. Okay. You can add multiple lines. We can add multiple lines, and here, suppose we want to stop the writing, type here is stop, also. Okay. Now you can open the file and you can see this. So, here, if you want to read the data from the file, from the user rate, we can uh, use loop and we can add multiple lines in the file. Okay, if you want to also add the file name, it's also possible. We can here type enter file name. And here specify the ST. File name is equal to ST dot next line. Okay. And we can use this file name here. So file, file name plus okay, and execute it. With the file name, like suppose here, new file name XYZ. Okay, file content. So here, super computer mainframe computer mini computer micro computer. And if you want to stop the writing, you can type here stop. Okay. And if you want to display the content of file, here I'm going to change here. And you can display the content of file. Okay. If okay. So here through this program. Get the data from the file name, file uh, from the user, from the user end. You can specify the file name and use file name here and open this file with in uh, append mode so we can add multiple lines. In the file content, string str is equal to space, str is dot next line dot equal to stop. And here you can convert this in bytes and then it's done by writing the file. Okay. Okay. Any doubt, any queries? No, okay. sir. Okay. Now, suppose you want to create a copy of a file so for this purpose, we are going to create another class like copy file. 
and public visit back with finish for this purpose suppose here uh, there is a abc file one minute there are two files okay the file suppose uh, we want to copy or create a copy of already exist file so for this purpose file input history FIS is equal to new file history and in bracket you can specify a file name all classes are belong to And uh, if we already have this file, now we have need to a new file where we can write the content of abc.txt file. The file output string fos is equal to new file. Here we can specify the file name like. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. So here I declare this and now R is equal to F I S dot E not equal to minus one and here we can copy this here throwing exception add another catch so FOS dot right on and after that here we can close close file copy now I'm going to execute it file copy Okay, the new file name is top. That's it. The file name is top. This is the file. Same is like ABC. Both are same file. Okay, so if you want to create a copy of file, you can use it. Okay. Same thing if you want to perform to the uh, character stream. So here you can see this. There is a character stream. stream. Sorry. Character stream. And uh, character stream has, there is a two implemented class. Reader and writer. So I'm going to. Same thing, same as um, we can create the program of uh, character script. Only there is only some differences. So I can't mistake about this. So, right. So, New file, public issue and main, finish. Suppose we want to create a file, the file writer. We do file writer 
F W is equal to new. File write it here. You can specify the file name. All classes belong to java.io package. Okay. It's throwing exception. Same as file input stream, we can use try catch. After that, suppose we have a data. str is equal to It already exists. You have not need of this. You can save this file. Okay. Now, uh, in previous uh, example, uh, we have convert this uh, data in the byte stream. But file reader and file reader, these are the character stream uh, uh, class. So we have to convert it character array. So at this purpose, CH is equal to FW two We have need to convert this in character array. So str dot char array. Okay, and we we save this array in the array of character. And after that, we can save this character array. In the file, so fw dot write this ch. Okay. Okay. Now we can close this and show here file save. Okay. Now I'm going to. Execute it. Okay. And we can check here. There is a file. Okay. Same as suppose we want to open the file. Open file is same as last program file reader fr is equal to new file reader sorry file name you can it's a the file name so file name if you see dot txt File reader fr is equal to new file reader abc.txt. We want to show the record, show the data of this file. So in r is equal to same as last program. We can use this.
fr dot read not equal to minus one. Okay, and here we can print it. We can convert. We can type for this. Uh, we want to show the content file. So say okay. Now I'm going to execute it. We want to show the content of file abc dot txt. Here you can see the right? Okay. So uh, this program is same as last program, but uh, we have another class. We can. Read the data in different format also, like here. Open file to add publish with me. So now I'm going to use here file reader fr is equal to new file reader specify here file name. Suppose we want to read this file. Okay. Here we can import java.io and add title because it's showing the exception. Check the exception. After that, you want to read it for this purpose. If you want to read, uh, we can use buffer readers. It is there. We are equal to new buffer reader and bracket. We can use fr. Okay. After that, I'm going to print this file. Okay. We are dot. Read line not equal to nine. Actually, it file reader read one line at a time. Okay, so it is faster than any other methods. Okay. If you want to increase the speed of a uh, processing, we use buffer reader, buffer writer, buffer input string, buffer output string. So here we are going to read the data with the help of buffer data. So here the other br dot read line not equal to none, then it will print it. You can save these values in a variable. So for this purpose, here we can specify here a variable str is equal to. Okay, and here str is equal to this. And now we can print the str value here. Okay. And now here we can close it. Like fr dot close. It's very fast compared to any other. Uh, another method to read the data because it is it is one line at a time okay so we can read it line and check not equal to none if not equal to none then it will print the value of str okay so it is faster than any other method second thing if you want to read the data from the uh, user end it's also possible here because uh, it is very reliable uh, class compared to a scanner class here i'm going to use buffer reader Again, I'm going to read the data from the user end, just like as a scanner class. So buffer brr is equal to new buffer buffer reader here, and we use a another class like input stream 
reader isr is equal to new input stream reader and specify here system dot it okay and we will pass the object of input stream reader in the buffer reader okay so suppose here we want to input the values uh, file name so we can read from the to the buffer reader like here enter file name for this purpose f name is equal to err dot read line okay and we use f name here f name plus okay so we can we very easily we can read the data uh keep from keyboard also so here you can input here you can see this input like suppose here proper press enter touch color find the system oh sorry for this here we have need the okay sorry input is simply as i as i will do input is that is about it and buffer reader are equal to new buffer reader i is up i think it's correct and here f name is equal to here the read line yes i think it's correct i name Dot the file cannot be found. Oh, sorry for this. That file is not exist. Only we have a file or this. So here we we'll put only A B C. Well, you are trying to read a file. So that file must be exist. Here is specified file name, and you can see this. Okay. So answer that the file. Uh, we can use buffer reader. If you want to read the data from the file, or if you want to read the data from the keyboard, we in both situation, both scenario, we can do buffer data. Okay. If you want to read the file from the keyboard, for this purpose, we use input stream data and pass the object input stream in the buffer data constructor. If uh, we want to use, uh, we want to read the data from the file, so we use file reader and pass the object of file reader in the reference in the constructor of a file reader and it is faster than any other method uh, but here uh, one thing is uh, one uh, problem that suppose uh, <coughs> here it read only the string if you want to uh, read in integer fluid double it is not possible for this purpose we use uh, we have not a separate method for the uh, reading of uh, in, uh, integer uh, float or double <coughs> or boolean. For this purpose, we use type cast. We can re use read line, and after that, we can type cast in different data type like integer, float, double. We can convert it, and then we can use this data. Okay. Any doubt, any queries? No, sir. Same as suppose we want to uh, display the content of uh, any folder, is also possible here. I'm going to create a, we have a uh, data. Like suppose the, we can we have another Class name is file. We can import java.io and here we use file is equal to new 
we can specify the path. Okay, we want to read the data of any folder. <clears throat> like suppose this report, there is any files. So suppose we want to call this file. This is a path. Okay. We can specify here. Okay. And this is a uh, we are trying to read the uh, code, we have not, we are not going to write that we cannot write anything in my folder. So, for this purpose, file dot set write table false because we are going to only for reading purpose because, because this is a folder. After that, file dot it has a list, it can return the list of content. And we can save this value in the string. str list, suppose. Okay. And if you want to read it for this purpose, here we can specify here str, str list. And we can print it like str. Save this file and run this. And you can see this. That's the content of files or so folder code. Okay, so through this this class, we can also read the folder, container folder. Okay. Hello. Any doubt, any queries? Okay, sir. No, no queries. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you.